Welcome to the latest episode of the Influencers series and a look at Roger Bacon. Roger Bacon was born circa 1168, was an accomplished English natural philosopher, and became a Franciscan friar late in life. He is often credited with founding the scientific method, but he learned this approach from his teacher and mentor, Robert Gross Test, who also influenced his study of optics. Both Gross Test and Bacon advanced the study of optics, based off of works of Islamic scholarship flooding Europe that was presented in the series' introduction, particularly of rainbows which had a unique place in Christian theology. Given rainbows were supposedly the promise from God never to flood the world again, as stated in Genesis 9 verses 8 to 17, Gross Test was among the first to apply a rigorous methodology for explaining the phenomenon, a methodology inherited by Bacon who is better known as its pioneering experimental thinker. Like fellow English philosopher Adelard of Bath, Bacon was also highly critical of authority, and not just of the revered church fathers of the past, but of his own contemporaries, especially the German theologian Albert the Great, one of the teachers of Aquinas. Albert had mistakenly incorporated some falsely attributed works of Aristotle, just as Ibn Rushd documented, yet Albert was considered an authority on Aristotle by the University of Paris, an honor to which Bacon took exception. Bacon held Arab scholars, such as Avicenna, in high esteem, but Russell writes he wrote a book called Compendium, on the study of philosophy in which he attacked clerical ignorance. However, it was not just ignorance he attacked in this book, but in the new atmosphere critical of authority, he didn't hold back in his attacks on the authority of the day, the Catholic Church from the Pope on down, to the friar orders, and clergy in general. To counter clerical ignorance, Bacon advocated many educational reforms, particularly that students should be taught science, not just theological minutiae. Bacon's 1267 Opus Magus, Greater Work, presented in seven sections, proposed a significant reform to the subject students should cover, with sections four to six comprising mathematics, such as geometry, optics, and natural philosophy, or experimentation. In this effort, he was successful in getting optics added to the curriculum with the quadrivium, astronomy, mathematics, geometry, music, of the seven liberal arts. Though not a theologian, like Abelard, he joined a monastic order only in his mid-thirties. Bacon thought science should be in service to theology and was not an advocate of free thought unlinked from religion, a position which Seeger of Brabant promoted and who will be covered in the next video. If you like my content, please like and subscribe to get notified of new videos. Please also consider supporting my work by becoming a Patreon sponsor. You can also find me on the following platforms.